My name is Justin Lucas. We own Hotbox Pizza Columbus. We opened September 6th, 2021. My pizza journey. I uh, started, started at my uncle's pizzeria when I was 15. Um, worked there through school, um, left there for a big chain. Was there for about 10, 11 years. Wore every possible hat I think you could wear at a pizzeria. In-store, delivery driver, assistant manager, general manager, district manager, training director. At one point I was in charge of 12 stores in the Indianapolis area. Came to Hotbox. Um, I think when I was hired on at Hotbox, I didn't really have a job title. So I just kind of bounced around a little bit until we opened 86 and Ditch. General manager for Gabe, then a district manager, and finally owner operator for, I think, the best Hotbox in the system. Why did I choose Hotbox? I fell in love with the brand. It's not very many restaurants you walk into and there's graffiti on the walls, um, flames, and music playing. It's just a very fun place to be. Um, I think next to that is the streamlined menu. It's very simple, but very good. You know, rave reviews from the guests. And I think you have to be passionate about the product you're selling or you're not gonna be successful. And I think that's, that's it. I, our pizza's second to none. Our breadsticks are phenomenal. And cheese sauce should be world-renowned at this point. My go-to specialty pizza is probably the spring pie. I love the fact that it's short-lived. You kind of have to cram as much spring pie into a few short months as possible. Plus the, like, the loaded nachos, the chorizo, the salsa, the cheddar, fresh cilantro, it's phenomenal gotta give it a shot. Uh, the franchise process is pretty simple. Um, you know, I had the slight unfair advantage of working for the brand for several years before we started the process. So I didn't have to go through like the training and development process. I kind of already vetted that process, but it was super streamlined. We did open a store during the middle of a pandemic. So there were some issues with like supply and demand and getting all the items we needed to open the pizza store, but utilizing Hotbox's professional relationships, you know, there are several things we could choose from for equipment and everything we needed to get the store open on time. My advice for people who are franchising, I think if you're on the fence, just go dine in at one of our restaurants, right? See, see the poetry emotion, feel the environment, the music, the excitement, interact with some of the team members who are just passionate about the brand. Because I think, I think the culture and our, just the overall environment of the store is really our number one selling point. I think you're not gonna walk into a more fun pizzeria than, than Hotbox. So the great opening process was absolutely bananas. You know, we did a soft launch. Uh, we toyed with the idea of doing some promotional giveaways and things like that. I'm really glad that we didn't. I remember my wife and I joke about it all the time. We opened at 11, it was about 10.45, and we were getting the lobby set up for the day, setting the chairs down and getting ready to roll. And Gabe came in the front door, and with Gabe came about 15 or 20 customers. But just the look on his face was priceless. Opening week was awesome. I think we set the company record for sales for opening week, and it's been strong since. You know, we sold out every day, you know, halfway through the day. You know, that's the beauty and the beast of having fresh produce and, you know, great ingredients is you have to be prepared. But yeah, open, opening week was bananas. The corporate team was great. You know, it helped with the training, it helped get everybody ready to roll, but it was, it was awesome. I've been in pizza my entire life. I think I've just been drawn to pizza. Like I've gotten out for, for other career choices, but always get sucked back in. I think pizza is just such a fun, exciting place to be. But I think, I think it definitely helps being an owner operator is being well-versed inside of a pizza store. And I think the, the training with you know, people management and operations training that you receive you know, in those roles is vital to operating a successful pizza store. My time commitment throughout the week is a lot more relaxed than it should be. I'm very blessed with a great assistant manager team. I think operationally I'm in the store about 40 hours a week. I try to dedicate at least 10 to 15 hours a week towards marketing and just community involvement. And probably 15 hours a week to bookkeeping and admin and things like that, which is primarily my wife's doing, but I handle that about 10, 15 hours a week. So we're, we're all in maybe 50, 55 hours a week with operations and, and marketing and developing and bookkeeping. With support from headquarters, there's been some random ventures we've done with marketing where me not being as organized as I should be, have approached someone in the community for, you know, we did the canned food drive and the toy drive, reached out to marketing and I got the graphics for that within 48 hours, which is ridiculous turnaround time. So we were able to lock that down and secure that. So corporate came down, um, helped train our store marketing team with cup drops and the running reports for late deliveries and new customers have been trained on that process. Patrick was great early on 
Prior to the store opening, Patrick is in for a couple weeks with, you know, just working with the new team members and getting them well versed with Speedline and able to take orders competently. Someone actually joked the other day, we hired a new driver and he said he worked for a competitor and his training was clocking in and getting a delivery bag. And I said, oh, that's the same training you're going to get here. And one of the team members was like, absolutely not. We trained for two weeks before, before we even opened with Patrick. Uh, so I think it's just great for people to have that experience and that, that relationship with corporate, even kind of being out here, um, you know, an hour, hour away from headquarters, you know, everybody knows that Patrick's a phone call away and he'll be here to help out.